Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Mining, the Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs, the Honorable Florence Chepngetich Kosge Bore, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. Will as many of that opinion say aye? aye. Will those of the contrary opinion say no? Yeah. The eyes have it. The next is to call upon you on the up that the House approves the appointment of the Honorable Justin Bedan Njoka Muturi EGH as the Attorney General. Will as many of that opinion say aye? aye. Will those of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. The next is to call upon you. Can the members of the bar take their seats? Order, honorable members. The next is to call upon the House that the House approves the appointment of Ms. Masi Kiru Wanjau Oda. The House approves the appointment of Ms. Masi Kiru Wanjau CBS as the Secretary of the Cabinet. As members of that opinion say aye. aye. Will those of the Congress opinion say nay? Yeah. The eyes have it. And the last vote, order honorable members, the last vote is that the House rejects the appointment of the Honorable Penina Malonza OGW as the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. Will as members of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will those of the contrary opinion say nay? Yeah. The nays have it. Now, all the honorable members, the upshot, the upshot of that vote, honorable members, is that you have approved the appointment of all the nominees up to Masi Kiru Wanjau. You have negatived the rejection of Penina Malonza. This means Penina Malonza is now in purgatory. She's neither in heaven nor in hell. She's in purgatory. Now the next move on Penina Malonza, I have received and approved a motion by the Honorable Irene Casalu. She wants to move the house now to decide whether to shift Penina Malonza from purgatory to hell or to heaven. And I will now give her an opportunity to move the motion. Once she moves the motion, we have a seconder. Order, honorable members, order. Once she moves the motion, we have a seconder. Once we have a seconder, I want to encourage the House that you have overventilated on this matter. You allow the Chair to put the question after proposing the question. Is the Honorable Casal in the House? I invite you now to move your motion in not more than 10 minutes and your second hour will be allotted five minutes. You, you can go ahead, the Honorable Casalu. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. And in the view of the decision of the House today, with respect to the motion on the approval of appointment of on Penina Malonza, OGW, as a Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage, and the requirement for... Sorry, an... Honorable Casalu, I think we have jumped the gun. First, give notice of your motion. Thereafter, I'll then allow you to move it. Then it gets seconded and we move as guided. 
So first give notice of the motion. So I just read that to you. Just start by saying I give notice of the following motion, then read the motion. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I give a notice of motion for the approval of appointment of On Penina Malonza OGW as a Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. Yes. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Casalo, now you may proceed to. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And in the view of the House decision today, with respect to the motion on the approval of appointment of On Penina Malonza, OGW. Honorable Casalo, when you move your motion, you start by saying, I move the following motion. Thank you, Honorable Then you read the motion as it is, then go on to elucidate what you Thank you, to you Honorable Speaker. I stand guided. And the Honorable Speaker, I move the following motion. That in the view of the decision of the House today, with respect to the motion on the approval of appointment of Honorable Penina Malonza OGW as a Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and, Wildlife and Heritage, and the requirement for an equivocal decision of the National Assembly on such matters, I beg to move that password to the provisions of Article 152, 2 of the Constitution and Section 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments, of a Public Appointment Act of 2011, that this House approved, this House approves the appointment of the own Penina Malonza OGW as the Cabinet Secretary for the Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. Honorable Speaker, allow me to say that uh, I want to thank the people of Kitui for electing me for the second time. And I must say that I had a worthy opponent by the name on Penina Malonza. And having her as my opponent, I can only say good words about her. On Penina Malonza is a brave woman. This lady decided to vie for women of Pokitri County on a UDA ticket, despite the area being a wiper zone. And the people of Kitui actually voted for her with a lot of votes. And I think she's the only candidate for Mukambani who vied on UNDA who got the highest votes. On Penina Malonza is a woman of integrity. She has not been charged in any court in this country on any issue. On in Penina Malonza, is well schooled. And it is an appointment of what many girls on this country would aspire to get academically. On Penina Malonza has a working history. She was the last deputy governor for Kitui County when Malombe was the governor. And it's during this time the duo delivered for the people of Kitui and a lot of development were done in Kitui County. On Penina Malonza is being looked at by all the people of Kitui County. I'm sure on speaker you have heard of the many bounties attack in Kitui County. And on, on Penina Malonza comes from one of those areas that is more the word. And the people of Kitui are looking upon her once this nomination has gone through and she's uh, Nom uh, she has gone through and she become the CS uh, for tourism, wildlife, and heritage. That she's be able to sort the issue of the baddest attack. So, with these few remarks, honourable speaker, I want to call upon on Pus uh, Dr. Pusoke Pukose of a uh, Debes constituency to second the motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank, thank you, honourable speaker. I second first before the point of order. Yes. <laughs> Honorable member. 
May, oh, Dr. Bukoza, take your seat. What is out of order, honorable member? Give him the mic, please. Give the honorable member the mic. Uh, uh, thank you, honorable speaker. And first, I'm not talking about the rejection of uh, P uh, honorable Penina. We support her. But honorable Irene Kasalu talked about that honorable Penina will sort out the issue of bandit attacks. Honorable in member, Ketui. you are out of order. So take the point seat. we are talking about. Take your seat, honorable member. You are grossly out of order. Honorable Dr. Bukose, you can proceed. Thank, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, I stand to second honorable the motion. For, for order, Honorable Bukose, for avoidance of any such incidents in future, honorable members, especially for our new colleagues, you stand on a point of order when a colleague is on the floor, on the feet, and has breached some standing order. Number two, I and the panelists of the speaker's chair will uh, going forward demand to know which standing order has been breached when you say point of order so that you don't come under the guise of point of order and embark on a, mis or a totally different misadventure. Uh, thirdly, when you want to raise a point of order, the member against whom you are raising must still be on, on the floor. Once the member has left the floor, you cannot raise a point of order about what they were saying. Honorable Bukose, you have five minutes or less. Th thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I stand to, sec to second the motion by Honorable Irene Kasalu on the, that this House approves the appointment of Penina Malonsa as the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. Honorable Speaker, today morning we were having a cup of tea and uh, discussing with Honorable Zengu member for Mwingi North, among others. And we, at times you look at uh, the cabinet secretary is supposed to be in charge of policy, not technical. And I ask the member, if you are beaten by a snake, where do you report? It's supposed to be you report to the police station, get a P3 form, then go and see a doctor. Once you've seen a doctor, the doctor feels the extent of your injuries but I know many of you didn't know that. So we should not be able to ask, at times we ask two technical questions, but somebody with that level of education will be able to learn. Let's give this lady an opportunity to be able to deliver to this country as a cabinet secretary for tourism, wildlife, and national heritage. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I second. Honorable members, I beg to propose the question that pass one to the provisions of Article 152.2 of the Constitution and Sections 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011. This House approves the appointment of the Honorable Penina Malonza OGW as the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. I will now put the question, which is that pass one to the provisions of Article 152.2 of the Constitution and Sections 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011. This House approves the appointment of the Honorable Penina Malonza OGW as the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. As members of that opinion say aye. aye. Will those of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. <laughs> Next order. Will now honorable members go back to the motion of the member for Lurambi, the honorable Titus Hamala. You had moved your motion. Now we want your seconder. Who is your seconder? In fact, uh, Mudenyo. I move, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
hecho. Mm-hmm. <laughs>